One of the things that um, always pops into my mind is just the campus itself. Um, thankfully, you don't really have to walk too far to be amongst uh, the bamboo or the flowers or the trees. Um, you know, of course, we have the trails that are on the periphery of campus, but you know, sometimes it's not convenient to get that far away. A lot of times I encourage people just to use what's literally outside the classroom. Um, there's that lovely spot uh, where all the bamboo grows. And it would be kind of a great place to sit and meditate or breathe or just, you know, be at peace for a little while. I also think about uh, on cooler days when the sun's not too bad, just uh, sitting in the grass and looking at one of the lakes and enjoying that. I think one of the things that people are getting at uh, these days is um, we tend to live in a very artificial environment that you know we've created with our civilization and our technology and it's very convenient to stay inside on a hot day. It's very easy to get distracted with studies, work, where you're interacting with technology and you know, the technology is always faster than we are. You know taking the cell phone, and I'm not saying hide it or you know, get rid of it, I'm, but I am saying turn it off or turn the sound down so that if it goes off, you don't know. Pausing that way once a day, twice a day, even if it's for you know five minutes. One of the things that when I work with students who have maybe stress or anxiety is they tell me they don't have enough time. If you've got 60 seconds, literally 60 seconds, then you have time. All I'm really looking for that is one deep breath. One. In that moment, that took less than 60 seconds. A couple of those throughout your day can overall keep your stress at least slightly lower. And so I really encourage people to set the 60 seconds where they really for 60 seconds do nothing. Well, of course, some faculty have an advantage. The, uh, the botany professor can say, I need to go collect these plants, you know. Not every professor has that advantage. Many years ago, we used to call it the grass class. There was a particular day that the professor was going to teach outside. The professor would encourage people to bring a blanket, and then we're just gonna go outside and we're gonna sit on a soft spot on top of our blankets and we're gonna talk about um, the topic at hand. You know, if you think a class meets, you know, twice a week for 16 weeks, you could do this once. It might change the attitude. Another idea that I really encourage faculty to do is begin their class with a five minute breathing exercise where everybody just slows down for a moment. Sits at their desk, the, the professor could turn off the overhead. You know, just take, again, five minutes, no, no more, and do a breathing exercise that is either on our website, but it's just, again, this, let's focus on our breathing. The reality is, physiologically, if we control our breathing, all we're really doing is we're taking voluntary control over our lungs, the rest of the body has to follow. And so it's a nice way to kind of start the class.